Hi, let us look at some of the key details related to AWS Certified Data Engineer Associate. This certification isn't beta at this point. So there will be 130 minutes to answer. This is a associate level certification, not a professional certification. Something similar to AWS Associate Architect. You will have 65 questions with multiple choice and multiple response. It will cost $150. It will be launched. It is already launched as beta, but the actual live certification will start from 12th of March. This date you should remember. From 12th of March, you can appear for this certification, which will not be a beta. Post 12th, it will not be a beta version. It will be proctored online by Pearson, and you can also go to the testing centers. And these are the languages supported. So what does it do if suppose you are certified on AWS data engineer, what does it do for you? It tells the employer that you do have skills and knowledge in core data related AWS services. You can implement data pipelines, you can monitor and troubleshoot issues and obviously you can give cost optimization tips, performance enhancement tips in order to be in alignment with the best practices so let us look at the exam guide this certification is called DEA C01 this is an exam guide so what do you need to know if you are preparing what do you need to know you need to understand how to ingest transform data how to orchestrate different pipelines of data how can choose optimal data store how to design data models, catalog the data schemas, and manage data life cycles. You need to have skills to monitor the data pipelines. You should have great data analysis skills, and you should be able to understand data quality and give solutions related to data quality. You will have to understand the security portion of it, which includes authentication, authorization, encryption, and how the loggings are enabled. So you need to have two to three years of experience in the data field. So, but this I have seen with other certifications as well. I was able to do various certifications even if I didn't have uh, specific experience in that area. But since I, I am into IT for so long, so we can manage with that. And you will have to understand how does volume, variety and velocity have an impact with respect to data ingestion transformation and so on you should understand etl like if you are from a data stage informatica abnisho a world or you if you understand as your data factory this will be a cakewalk for you you will have to apply a high level uh, language agnostic programming concepts you should understand how to use git commands for source control how to use data lakes for storage of data and then how general concepts around compute and networking okay so now what is out of scope see this is important you are not supposed to understand ai or machine learning tasks you are not supposed to demonstrate your programming knowledge specific syntax and so on and you are not supposed to draw business conclusions based on the data that is an exclusion from a certification standpoint so you would be scored out of thousand the minimum score you should get is 720 in order to pass this certification exam and each section has a different weighting so some sections will have more weightage compared to others so with this we would like to end this part of the video where we gave an explanation about this aws data engineer associate certification what are the topics at a high level what you need to know what kind of experience you need to carry how much marks you need to score to pass the certifications and so on. Stay tuned, stay focused. We will post many more such informative content.